Well, the North House Folk School in Grand Marais has attracted students from every state and around the world. Last week, a production team from the PBS national program Craft in America was in town. WDSC videographer Steve Ash stopped by to find out more about their visit. Bring the bubble up and from that bubble go square back. North House has had a number of different crafts that have, of course, been part of the fabric of the school since the very beginning. Without question, timber framing is one of them. If you walk across our campus, I mean, it's clearly part of the character of the school at the kind of right at the heart of what we do. We came to Minnesota to the North House Folk School because we are doing a, a, an episode of Crafted America titled Home and I knew of the North House Folk School small timber frame class and decided it would fit perfectly into this episode. My name is Carol Sovion and I'm the executive director of Craft in America. And we are a nonprofit based in Los Angeles with a mission to promote and advance original handcrafted work through programs in all media. Our most important program is the documentary series that we produce for PBS. Normally we will come in and we'll spend two to three days on a segment. There are between four and six segments in each of our hours. This time we've come to film the timber frame uh, class and the actual structure, the timber frame small house, will not be erected until May. So we will come back for a second uh, visit to Minnesota. We're very excited about that. It's especially meaningful. We're, we're the school, North House is 24 years old. Uh, we're on the cusp of celebrating a quarter of a century. Wow, you know, and to have lived through some of the past year and a half of challenges and to know, you know, we're strong, we're moving forward. And, and look who's coming to visiting. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. My name's Greg Wright. I'm the director of the North House Folk School, an educational nonprofit in Grand Marais, Minnesota. North House has steadily grown through our 24 years. There's no question about that. And now, in a typical year, about 70% of our students come from Minnesota. But of course, you can use new math and figure out that it means 30% comes from somewhere else. And somewhere else in the past five years has meant 48 different states and six foreign countries. I think a school like North House Folk School is um, a community, number one, and I think we search for that nowadays. And it's also a school, it's a source. So if people want to learn, uh, some of the classes that are taught here are quite esoteric. I don't know of any other school in the country that is teaching them. So if you want to learn something for whatever purpose, for pleasure or to actually create something, a place like North House is essential. Certainly of all the places in the U.S. where one can learn craft and where craft has a vitality, I would say Minnesota is by far one of the most important places. Our dream, in a sense, is to become what we call the northern crossroads of craft a place that people journey to. So that's what North House's dream is, that we become even more part of the fabric of craft that reaches around this world and that links the people of the North and the people of this world together. That's what our mission is about. Enrich lives, build community. Craft is the vehicle, and that's what we hope comes out of this.